Hi everyone, Lisa loves leather and today I'm going to show you two pieces from one of my favorite brands. WP Standard is such a classic and I couldn't wait to try it out some of their pieces. Today I'm going to share with you what I have and what I think about them. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell to be notified of when I upload new videos. I love interacting with all of you, so if you leave me a comment, I usually always reply if I can. And if you'd like more content by me, be sure to check out the Pebbled Leather Podcast. A new episode comes out every Wednesday. So, you know, take me with you wherever you go and let's keep talking about leather. <laughs> anyway, so WP Standard caught my eye a few years ago, um, possibly when they were still called the Whipping Post, and their leather bags were expensive but beautiful and timeless. And then there was this video on their website. Now, if you know me, you know that I'm a very sentimental person who cries at commercials, parades, the sound of sirens, the birth of children, anything that is beautiful or poignant just deeply resonates within me. And on the WP Standard website, there's this video in the About Us page that just literally brings me to tears. It connects scratches and blemishes on leather with memories like the wrinkles on a face from years of smiling. So yeah, go watch that and read the paragraph below it. Um, the founder, Ryan, is an incredible writer. Um, so have your tissues ready. <laughs> the way he writes makes it feel so extraordinary to have a leather bag and a life to live. <laughs> I'll put a link below to their website. Um, please know that this is an affiliate link, which means I will make a commission from any sales placed through this link. It's just a little commission, but any little bit helps. And um, the reviews I'm about to share are completely my own thoughts. We'll start with the positives, the features, the design, the craftsmanship, the durability, the aesthetic, and then we'll finish with my constructive criticisms, or I should say suggestions, right? <laughs> so the first bag I bought from WP Standard was their mini tote. I got it in the color tan. It's 100% full grain leather with straight and consistent nylon stitching. That's always something I look for. I wanted a mini tote that wasn't a crossbody and which I could, you know, diminutively set out on the table when I go somewhere. I love the silhouette of this bag and I love how it must be carried by the hand only. <laughs> There's an interior pocket and these beautiful handles, which at least for my bag are slightly lighter tan than the bag itself. And I love how this bag is stitched so that the edging here comes to a tasteful point, a pointed edge, which is a nice contrast to the tucked in bubble or like the wrap over that you would otherwise see. I really like that. I love these copper rivets and I don't know what it is about these tapered ends to the straps, but I am smitten. <laughs> and I love their logo. A simple cross imprint is dotted into the hide, making for a, you know, subtle brand distinction here that is really cool. And it's not on all of their bags, but I think it's very beautiful. One thing you'll notice about WP Standard is that they care very much about the base of your bag <laughs> and to make sure that it doesn't round out, you know, at the bottom over time. These totes that I show you today have a solid bottom and that surprised me, but I'm thrilled with it. It's a unique design feature that really sets them apart. Now, the mini tote is eight and a half inches tall, 11 inches wide, and has a depth of four inches. The handle drop is three and a half inches exactly, and it weighs exactly one pound. 
Now, let me show you my favorite from WP Standard. Are you ready? This is the Cargo Tote. You guys, it smells like leather and a Christmas tree. <laughs> I don't know how this is possible, but I smell a Fraser fur in there with that lovely scent <laughs> of leather. This bag is designed for both men and women, and I don't know how they've done it, but on their website, there's a man holding this bag by the hand down at his side, and I'm telling you, it looks so masculine <laughs> and ready for travel. And yet, when carried on the shoulder by a woman, this bag looks perfectly feminine. So it's just beautiful. I'm, I'm calling it my picnic tote <laughs> because I have incredible plans for this bag as soon as it's spring. As some of you know, um, I'm a former classroom teacher, but I have been homeschooling our kids for two years on account of the pandemic. And one of the things we love to do every spring is to take our classroom outside. So I imagine this bag will be the perfect thing for loading up all our books because of that, you know, sturdy base. And if I pack this bag well, even our lunches and our lemonades will remain, you know, standing up straight because of that flat base. So. I have plans for this tote. I'm so excited. <laughs> you know, one of the things we all love about leather is how each bag is always unique, even if it is made by the same craftsman. And what I love about this particular tote is the striations and roll lines you can see. See them there? Uh, even though this is incredibly smooth leather. You see them? I love how the straps too are slightly different in color than the bag itself. It's just, it's just beautiful. I love it. <laughs> in fact, my favorite feature of this bag is the straps. How they're attached and how they go under the bag is just the perfect blend of functionality with beauty. And at first I didn't think I was going to like the handle drop of 10 and a half inches but they're perfect for this bag. The straps are long because the bag can really, really open up. And they're long because you can pull them out on the side and, you know, stuff a rolled up picnic blanket or a beach towel in there. And you can do that on both sides, you guys. Most leather bags have a distinct front versus back, but I love how the cargo tote looks the same on both sides. So no matter how you pick it up, it's going to look great. There's no thinking needed. <laughs> there are large exterior pockets on both sides and an internal uh, drop pocket on one side, but they've cleverly constructed the bag so that you can't see from the outside where it attaches. I just love that. The cargo tote weighs 2.8 pounds and measures 13 and a half inches across the bottom and 21 inches across the top. It has a height of 13.75 inches and technically it has a depth of 4.25 inches, but I noticed that this bag can really open up on the bottom and then the bag just becomes even wider down there. These bags were very quickly shipped to me and they were wrapped beautifully in tissue paper and then carefully packaged in, you know, a nice roomy hard cardboard box. The only thing I wish they would do, and I don't know why so few leather bag companies do, is also wrap the bag in plastic. I know we're not supposed to store leather in plastic for the long term, but I just worry that a rainstorm might, you know, soak the box and ruin the bag. <laughs> but as far as constructive criticisms go, or I should say suggestions, <laughs> I think there is something missing from their website, you guys. <laughs> they need to make this style of cargo tote a line, not just a single bag. They do have a weekender duffel bag with these types of straps, but I would like to see a matching backpack, a smaller tote, 
and maybe a crossbody. Basically, I would like to see a family of bags in this design. And I think, you know, leather bag lovers will want to have the whole matching fleet when they go on travel. <laughs> so if you want to give WP Standard a try or even get, you know, your bag monogrammed, don't forget to click on my affiliate link below and email them and tell Jenny from customer service that I sent you. <laughs> I seriously sent her emails like every other day because I had so many questions and she was sweet and she gave me extra special attention. So really, really good customer service. So fingers crossed, I'd like my next review to be of their vintage tote bag in tan, my favorite of their leathers. So we'll see if they make that possible. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment below with another brand that you'd like me to feature on this channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.